Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. The success of the Nintendo Switch has already inspired many manufacturers out there, especially from China, to imitate it, so to speak, to have these handheld devices, mostly Windows devices. We have the GPD and the GPD WinMax. We have the UFO from Alienware that was teased back in 2019. Fast forward today, we still don't have any kind of release date. However, what you're seeing here is another Chinese handheld device called Aya Neo and it claims to be the most powerful gaming handheld device. So you can see there in the picture this is upside down and you can see that it has only one port from what I can tell which is a USB-C port. It has detachable Joy-Cons just like the Nintendo Switch and it has an IPS screen which is a touch screen and then that's how you control Windows in it because it's operating on Windows system. And according to GBATM, the specs are as follows. So the SOC is an AMD 4500U and it has 16 gigabytes of DDR4-4266 LPD DDR4X the storage is a little bit not that much as it only has 512 gigabytes of NVMe. I don't see this device having the possibility to have some kind of external storage and I don't know if it's going to be very easy to change this NVMe drive in there because you know today's games are very demanding in terms of storage and it goes up to 200 gigabytes for some games like Call of Duty. The display is a 7 inch screen as I said it is IPS and a touch screen and the resolution is 1280 by 1800 which is not bad because the size of the screen is not very big so I think it should look fine no problems and the battery has 47 watt hour Wi-Fi 6 and detachable joysticks or joy cons joy cons is the proprietary name I believe for the Nintendo Switch. So here is the motherboard of the device. So you can see here that it has a heatsink of course and we don't know if it's going to sustain the FPS that I have seen in the videos because they have a YouTube channel and I leave the link in the description below to see for yourself the kind of games that were tested and in here it seems like that this is the NVMe drive indeed. So this looks like micro SD and this looks like the USB-C port. Not sure because we have another port here and there is another picture of the device and you can see that it's running here steam and it is downloading Grand Theft Auto 5. It pretty much looks like a small PC with a touch screen and it is handheld. The concept is enticing overall but we still don't know like the thermals and is there going to be some thermal throttling and how hot is the device going to run, how loud so on and so forth. The specs pretty much show that it's not a frugal device when it comes to power consumption and the SOC that it has. And in their YouTube channel, they tested several games like PUBG, Monster Hunter World, Death Stranding, and even some very, very demanding games like Red Dead Redemption 2, all of which were running around 30s to 40s in terms of FPS. Sometimes it does go up to 60 FPS, but the instances were really rare in there. I think with some tweaking you could get higher FPS especially that they tested games like Death Stranding and Monster Hunter World on high and you know that games like Monster Hunter World or Red Dead Redemption are very demanding. They tested GTA 5 on low and it was hitting 60 FPS a lot of the time. Now for the price they are asking $700 which is a little bit expensive in there. If you compare it to the Switch it's almost double. They are not really the same but I think this device could be very good for emulation which is another bonus i think if it were something like 500 dollars it would sell well but again the specs in there show that this thing is not really cheap to manufacture and there is even a release date of 2020 we could get our hands on this device sometime during this year and hopefully some people in the internet would be able to get their hands on one and to test it. It does look very promising and it certainly does appeal to some people who probably don't have time more space to use a PC. They would have these small intervals in which they can have some light gaming sessions or if you go to bed and you just take your device with you and play some games. And that's actually one of the bigger selling points in there for the Nintendo Switch. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And what do you think about this device? Do you think that it's something exciting to look out for or do you think that it is just another device out there? Leave your comments down below. 
below, share the video and I will talk to you again soon. Have a good one.